This morning we're trying out Cloud Ready. It's software that allows you to uh, make an old computer uh, Chromebook. So we've downloaded the Cloud Ready bin file and the Chromebook recovery utility. Right now it's uh, that utility is unpacking uh, the bin file and getting ready to install it on a USB flash drive. Now the Chromebook recovery utility is writing the files to my USB stick, uh, but it looks like that's going to take a little while, so we'll stop the video and come back when that's finished. Alright, it looks like our USB stick is ready. Um, we'll just eject that from this computer and go plug it into the one we want to install uh, Chrome on and see what happens next. We've got an old Dell Latitude D520 plugged in the USB stick and boot it up and see what happens. So it looks like this laptop is not set with the option to boot from USB. I'll have to go into the BIOS and change that, and uh, we'll be back when I'm finished with that step. Alright, I found that setting in the BIOS, and we've moved USB to the top of the list for a boot sequence. And we will save and exit, and let it start up again. Alright, now we're booting from the USB. Alright, let me get this set and I'll be back. It did actually recognize my uh, Wi-Fi hardware, which is unusual. Several different versions of Linux that I've been, tried to install on this Latitude D520 did not initially have the drivers that were needed for a Broadcom Wi-Fi chipset, but it looks like this does. And the next step is it's installing Flash. So. It looks like it's wanting your Google account information. So let me enter that and we'll be back. I noticed this option that says uh, you can skip this step and browse as a guest, so let's do that. Okay, so it looks like that's it. We're up and running from the USB stick. I'll have to uh, look a little more and see what the next step is for actually installing it to the hard drive. Alright, I remember reading something that said it was best to install when you were logged out. So I logged back out as guest and looked for a way to install to the hard drive. It doesn't jump out at you immediately, uh, but I clicked here on US down in the bottom right corner and I see the option to install. And so now it's taking what's on the USB stick and formatting the hard drive of the laptop and installing it there.
be back when that's done. You had to know that it wasn't going to go completely smoothly. Um, once I got uh, once I got it installed on the hard drive and booted up, it didn't recognize the Wi-Fi, and I had to connect to Ethernet. Um, so I tried to do some troubleshooting on that, but like usual, when in doubt, reboot, and that's all it took. I rebooted, and then it recognized the Wi-Fi again. Um, so let's reboot again. Um, I've also already gone to the App Store and installed Chrome RDP because that's what we would use this for is remote desktop into a terminal server, Microsoft terminal server. And I uh, already tested that and it looks like it works. So we'll boot up here and demo that. Okay, we got the system up. Wi-Fi is working. Got my Gmail account ready to log in. I'll log in. And here we go. Come down to the shelf and I have Chrome RDP pinned there. Start that up. Have my connection bookmarked. Type in my password and click OK. Of course, every time you try to demo something, you type your password wrong. There we go. And that works.